The fixed bed gas absorption column experiment revolves around analyzing the behavior of the adsorption breakthrough and illusion curves associated with the separation of carbon dioxide from nitrogen using activated carbon. Note that this lab utilizes activated carbon that stains skin, so the use of gloves is recommended. Begin by opening the nitrogen gas tank's valve, followed by the outlet valve, which is a small black knob, making sure that there are readings on the regulator dial indicating gas is flowing out of the tank. Follow these same steps to open the carbon dioxide tank. In this experiment, we will be using three different fixed bed absorption columns of three different lengths, the short column, medium column, and long column. Note that students are required to run a triplicate with a short column, and then conduct one trial each for the medium and long columns. Afterwards, the CO2 flow should be doubled and ran for at least one trial for the medium column for a minimum total of six trials altogether. Then, turn on the entire system, making sure that both digital flow meters, the laptop, and the scale are powered on. Next, we will be going over how to set up the adsorption column. First, unscrew the top of the column and empty out any remaining carbon into the used bin making sure you are able to see the mesh on the inside. Afterwards, take a ruler and measure out the depth of the column in centimeters. Once this is accomplished, tighten the column's cap and weigh it on the scale. Making sure you stay below the groove lines, fill the column with activated carbon using a funnel. Using the ruler from before, measure the top of the filled carbon to the top of the column and subtract this value from the column length measurement. Then tighten the cap once again and take the mass of the carbon filled column. With your column set up, it is now time to begin the experiment. Start by loosening the nitrogen valve up to the desired flow rate, in this case being 5 standard liters per minute. Once the nitrogen flow rate is stable, add an extension to the bottom tubing and have a bucket of prepared water as well as a capped soda bottle with a volume of about 1.946 liters. Remove the cap and fill the bottle with water all the way to the top. Once it's full, cap it. Turn the bottle upside down and uncap it once the opening is below the water level. One person will then be in charge of a stopwatch while another is in charge of the bottle. As soon as the person with the bottle inserts the tubing inside the bottle, with the opening fully submerged, the other person will begin timing with the stopwatch. Continue timing until all the water has exited the bottle and use this value to calibrate the flow rate of the nitrogen stream. Next, securely fasten the column. Once this is done, take the tubing exiting the three-way valve and attach it to the bottom of the column to flush it through with nitrogen gas. Then take the sensor tubing and attach it to the top of the column for the computer to receive the adsorption data. For data acquisition, open the GasLab software, set COM10 as the port, GC16 as the product, the series model to COSER and GSS 100%. Click Connect, change the auto logging from every 30 seconds to every second, click Start Logging and then OK, so that the system may begin logging the CO2 readings every second. Important to note that students should not select to append and should instead always start a new file with a new name. Continue running the system until the carbon dioxide concentrations level off. Then disconnect the bottom tubing and open the CO2 valve, setting the flow meter to the recommended first value of about 0.45 standard liters per minute. The gas lab software, restart the logging, name the file, and hit OK while simultaneously reattaching the bottom tubing to the column to begin collecting adsorption data. Once the concentration reaches a plateau, we can now stop recording data as this indicates that saturation has been achieved. If this is the end of your final trial, it is at this point that one qualitative desorption run should also be conducted by stopping the CO2 flow. Export the data, insert a USB drive into the laptop. Click on the Log Files button and transfer over your file. Next, close GasLab and shut down the laptop. We can now start the shutdown procedure beginning with unfastening the column and disconnecting the top and bottom tubing. Then empty out the carbon from the column into the used carbon tray, again making sure that the inside mesh is visible. Finally, power off the surge protector switch and make sure all electronic devices are turned off.